Hey, I decided I want to start here with these chocolate chip morsels. Oh, I don't have my receipt I'm out this second. I'll check. But I got these from Target for, I think, $2. They were half price. Um, these apricots were half price, so $1.64. I'm going to skip around just a bit. Hindsight, Hello, had I known, I would have gotten more Inspiration, because these were more at Aldi. And encouragement so they were a better faith, deal your home, your home school, at Target. Homestead, and your life. In today's so those video, are the two things I got at Target only. To be adding to now this next portion right pantry, here is going to be to my all emergency preparedness, um, and I Sam's to Club. Show you the so I grabbed these fig bars because we absolutely love them. I didn't see the blueberry. I would have grabbed those. This tomato sauce was about $2 and some change, almost $3. I don't know, but I think I believe on um, Homestead Tests here, even in my one of my homemaking groups that I'm a part of, I've seen where they take these out of here and then can them. So I'm going to look into that and try that. It does have a small dent, but it doesn't matter to me. Um, I use maple syrup a lot in my house. I use predominantly maple syrup, in fact, in my home um, as a sweetener to bake and all of that. So I did grab two of these. I grabbed one olive oil. I grabbed one rice, one bread and pizza flour. I grabbed one sugar, two Idaho spuds. They're hash brown potatoes. And the crazy thing is this box makes 50 servings. So I have two excuse me. So I have 100 servings here and they're made with 100% real potatoes. So I have some organic coconut oil. This is a six um, pack of almond unsweetened milk. It's not the milk we typically get, but you know what? <laughs> In case of an emergency, I think we'll be pretty thankful for this. And it's six of them, so it won't last long, but at least it'll give us maybe a week um, if we are, you know, sparingly with that. Um, this is some pink Himalayan sea salt. I think it was $4. Um, these two lemon juices, 100% lemon juice. I got these two canola oils. I typically only use olive oil and grapeseed oil. I didn't see any grapeseed oil. And I was trying to make my funds go a little bit further while still eating what I love and enjoy um, to eat. And wanting, again, to stock up on some things. I got two packs of these craisins. They're dried cranberries, and I think it was just cranberries and sugar, and I think they were $6 a bag. So to me, I thought that was a really amazing deal. Um, I wanted to get some of the lemonade they had there, but honestly, it just had too many ingredients for me, and I was like, yeah, I can't do that. But I saw this iced tea, and I was like, you know what? I can actually get down with these ingredients. So you guys know I, I like being... Um, as natural and organic as possible, the least ingredients as possible, the least added items as possible. And this one, at least it didn't have any extra colors, preserve, you know, all the stuff. So anyway, <laughs> I thought that that was a good deal and it makes 38 quarts. So I figured have nothing else. You've got some tea that you can kind of work with. So we got an all purpose flour. And the last thing that I got from them was this ECOS. Um, and lavender, so I'm super excited. I've never tried this lavender one before, but the reason why I chose this one over the other one is because this one has 230 loads for I think $16. So and I'm all for all natural cleaners. Since I'm right here, um, I want to go ahead and go here. This is what I purchased from the Goodwill. These are light, when I saw this, I was like, Oh my God, I was so happy. Come on, Lord. You are so good to me. Okay, focus. <laughs> so these are $5 each. So $10, but they're oil lamps. So if I can get some oil and get it in time, you know, we're good to go. The last storm we had, we didn't have power for seven days. So um, this will be good um, to just be good. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to the Aldi's haul. And the Aldi's haul is all of this right here. So I'll go ahead and start with this vinegar. Um, vinegars can be used for lots of um, purposes, cleaning, cooking, so it's just good all around. Um, these mashed potatoes I thought were really cool. They were a dollar and they're not perfect, but look at these ingredients. They don't have a lot of ingredients and I think that that is amazing because I've seen some that's like half a page <sighs> for the box of potatoes. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, and I think they were a dollar a piece, maybe a dollar and 25 cent per piece. Again, a really amazing deal. 
I don't know if I'm going to talk too much about it in this video. Well, let's talk about it. I plan on getting those um, Mahler bags and those um, little de not dehydrators, but those little water absorbers to, to you know, go ahead and make this be 25 um, your storage um, type things like that. So that might be an upcoming video. Let me know if you want to see, um, if I decide to do that, if you want to see me turn these into long-term food storage, meaning lasting 20 plus years. So let me know about that. That was kind of what I was thinking about with these potatoes and just that it could kind of be a meal. Um, so next up we have these wheat thins. I just bought two boxes of those and this is not really emergency food, but you know, I have five kids, um, four that are just always here day and night. And so I'm like, you know what? At a time of an emergency, something like that would be cool, even though that's just, it's not a lot, but again, it's just a thought. So that, that's kind of cool. Even if we could keep it like for a Sabbath, that's at least two Sabbaths. Um, okay. So we have two of these tri-color routines, routines. We have this, um, two noodles of these and two of these elbow. And then we have two grits. We have two rolled oats. Two fast, I don't know why when I was in um, Sam's, I didn't just get the big container of yeast. Oh, smacking myself now, I totally should do that for some breads and pizza doughs and things like that. But, but anyway, I do have some more of these here. Again, this is just, um, I'm adding on to my stockpile. This is not the beginning of my stockpile, but if you are just starting your stockpile, I just thought these might be some great ideas um, for you. Okay, so we are plant-based. I am plant-based um, and I do not eat fish. Some of my children and my husband do eat fish. And in an emergency, I thought, you know what? We will go ahead and do this. It is in um, water, and these I think were on sale today for 50 something cents. So I just went ahead and grabbed a nice little amount of those. I got two cans of these large black olives. Uh, we have one cornstarch. I went ahead and got one minced onion. I got three bacon sodas. I picked up one extra peanut butter. I went ahead and got two relishes. Um, I, yeah, I was supposed to have six. So my kids didn't put the other ones in the cart like I asked. This is the one I prefer organic mushroom pasta sauce, but they did not have all organic mushroom pasta sauce. So I had to get a few of these and you know, that's okay too. I just prefer organic as much as possible. That's what I prefer to serve my family and so the thing is when you're doing this prep work not to get crap that you know you're not going to eat so if you don't eat organic boo don't try to go in the store and buy organic and if you know you only eat organic don't go buying stuff that you're not going to eat because let me tell you something one year i bought a whole bunch of um stream beans i think it was and then when it was time for them to expire guess what your girl had to do eat those string beans and i was miserable because i don't like canned string beans so buy stuff that you're only going to eat if you're only going to eat part tarts only buy part tarts. You know, we don't eat part tarts. I, we eat the fig bars. So guess what? I'm buying fig bars. I'm buying things that my family loves to eat. They begged for these right here. I only got two. I wish I could have got more because they were begging in the store. He's like, mom, please, please, please. They, these remind them when we went camping. So that's why they really wanted those. Um, I got one bread and butter. So again, it's not a lot because um, it's two here, one here two here but you put it all together and that's five in the pickle kind of section okay so i already did show you these apricots but i got some apricots cashews um walnuts some prunes some raisins and this is pretty much overall my um stock up of my emergency preparedness um items so this is more my short term storage, meaning it's definitely not 25 years, but again, because I do have children, we are a larger family. These are meals and things that I can use for today, but have temporarily, so potato chips. So that's not emergency preparedness, but I mean, with little kids, come on. Um, I use these, I use the chili chips. Oh, the lettuce is over there. I use the lettuce, beans, corns, the dressing, and that's a really quick meal. Um, pretzels, I grabbed those. Lemons, okay, so let's talk about this. 
So lemons, apples, sweet potatoes, onions, those are items that obviously cannot last for years. However, they can give you like one to five months depending. So those are things that I do like to get, have on hands and refrigerate. Again, not long term, but more short term. And along these lines too, these burger buns and hot dog buns, I'm actually gonna freeze these. So they are not a long term storage, but in the event that something, you know, the power goes out or something, I can easily add peanut butter jelly, whatever's in a, you know, I can do different things and we've got a couple of meals there. These were on sale for 99 cents at Aldi's. I feel like I should've got some more, but what I think I'm, and these were 1.99, which is why I got four. What I think I'm gonna do with these, with these and these and these are dehydrate them and then put them into glass containers. So these were 99 cents. Um, these were regular price. These were, um, the guy was going out um, with a bunch of, you know, older produce, and he was going to the dumpster, and I was like, "Here, you're taking it to the dumpster." And I was like, "Can I have it?" And he was like, well, "I'm not supposed to." And I'm like, "Well, um, you know, we talked about it for a minute, and um, so I was able to bring some of the things, some of the items, um, back. So already we've given our chickens, um, you know, the part that wasn't really fit for consumption. But I mean, this looks great to me. These look great. So I haven't went through these yet. There's like one or two, like one here. This no more, you know, no more, only just the one. Um, just this one here. I mean, the rest of them look perfect. And they're organic. So this one, same thing. There's one there, you know. Um, so it's just not a big deal. Because I can take those off and give those to my chickens. But the point is, um, I have celery now that I didn't have before. It was organic. And again, my chickens are going to get a little bit of it. And I'll be able to dehydrate these and these. And now that is going to help my dehydrated portion so now i've got a little bit of short term i've got a little bit of like refrigerator um and now i'm gonna start making my way with some dehydrated and then you just saw um longer term if you're enjoying this content so far if you could give me a thumbs up if you could comment or subscribe that would help my channel greatly i really do love sharing here on youtube this has been my sixth year sharing and so i have a lot of videos i do believe there is something for everyone so right now i'm just adding up all the totals from all the grocery stores so that i can share that with you guys and then right after if you're interested i'll let you know how much everything costs but if you're new here please let me know in the comments so that i can welcome you here to my page okay guys so it is pretty late like almost midnight late <laughs> but I thought that I would share um, just a little bit more because I do like when videos give you all the details right um, so you saw my total was about $320 which was a lot to be honest you know, um, I had to take away some of my regular grocery money, more than I would have lights. But, I mean, you, I, I got a lot of stuff. I mean, you guys saw the haul. Um, I think probably the biggest blessing was, you know, the lanterns. Those are really cool. So I had to find some oil now. Um, I heard that Hobby Lobby has some. And I did see some on Amazon. So hopefully I can get more funds in time in time. But anyway, um I think one of the keys is to just realize you're doing the best that you can, and that's all you can do. That's one. Two, I think it's important to again be sure that you're being true to yourself not following these mega channels um these pamphlets and these books and buying a 50 gallon i'm just tell it i bought a big <laughs> bag of whole wheat flour i didn't even use it like i literally i think i had to throw the bag away granted it wasn't it was like maybe 12 dollars so but that's not the point the point is it's waste and that's not cool had i have stored it correctly um that would have been money that didn't go down the drain everything else we did eat um but again it's important to make sure that you're getting only the bars that you eat only the things that your children love only things that you love while being on a budget um figuring out what 
what's your total, what amount you can spend, um, what you have already, what you need and use the most. So even if you just stick um, four cans in your cart, each grocery store trip, at the end of the month, especially if you go once a week, you'll have 16 cans. And depending on your family size, 16 cans can be, you know, maybe four to 16 meals. So um, that's the next thing. Okay, so I just wanted to show you the final total and share with you guys um, how much some of the items were. So the bread flour was about $9 and the sugar was $15. The basmati rice was 20 pounds for $15. The laundry detergent was $17 and I think it was 230 loads of uh, laundry, so that was good. The coconut oil was $8.38. Um, the syrup was eleven forty four. Got two of those. The fig bars were seven forty eight. The gold medal, which was an all purpose flour, was five thirty six. The tomato sauce was two ninety one. The hash browns were five ninety eight. I think I was really excited about those. And um, I chatted with a few people on the best way to store it. So I. I'm excited to do that. If you want to see how I store this stuff, like I said, just let me know. The craisins, I got two of those. They were $6.68. So those were a pretty good deal. The peach tea was um, basically $6. And I thought that was really cool, especially with how much it makes. Um, the canola oil was $11, basically. The sea salt grinder, not the sea salt. Yeah, pink Himalayan, I think it was sea salt. That was, it's 12 o'clock, sorry, it's midnight. That was um, $3.66. And then I've got some pure olive oil that was basically $12. Um, and the juice was $6.12. $6.12 for two packs of the lemon juice. So I didn't think that was bad at all. The almond milk um, was six cartons for $10, so that was really good. And then at Target, I think I may have said that already, but the apricots are $164, and the chocolate chips were $259, but they were regularly um, $5.19. So that was a, you know, that was a pretty nice savings there. Um, let's get lastly into Aldi's and at all these, the oats were two nineteen. The mashed potatoes were one twenty a box, and I think I may have said one and then previously, and when I was showing the haul, the macaroni, the elbow ones were a dollar and nine cents, and the other ones were seventy five cents. The relish was ninety five cents. Um, the sweet bread and butter pickles were one twenty nine. The kosher dill pickles were eighty nine cents. The olives were ninety nine cents for those. Um, the tuna was 65 cents and I actually got 12 of those and the grits were 129 the oh no it was um, 18 it was 12 and then six so the next thing is the whole cashews they were 425 the vinegar was 239 the natural peanut butter was 129 the organic pasta sauce was 185 and the regular pasta sauce was 149 the ketchup organic was 159 the barbecue sauce oh 267 i didn't know it was that much <laughs> i didn't know it was that much sheesh oh, sweet baby ray mm. okay Bacon soda was 45 cents. The walnuts were 365. The yeast was 89 cents. And the minced onion was 70 cents. Well, 69 cents. I also got some bacon soda, 45 cents. Some cornstarch, 89 cents. Thin wheats were 109. The vegan or the cookies. They were 129. The prunes were 229. The raisins 285. The salsa 
89 cents. And I know it seems like I was kind of looking around here on this, but that's because I actually bought more stuff and what I did on my receipt was highlighted the things that were not in this video and I just subtracted that total. That is pretty much it. Also at the Goodwill, um, I got a basket that was 50 cents. So, I thought it was right here I was gonna show you. I don't have it right here. But that is the end of this video. I just showed you um, what I am adding to my stockpile. Um, this is what I'm adding to my prepper's pantry, what I'm adding to my extended pantry, what I'm adding to my emergency preparedness, um, and or what extra things I'm having just because I am a family of seven. And so I just want to encourage you to make sure that you can stock up on some goodies so that, um, you know, if you cannot go out um, or anything like that, you have some things that you can have. Um, I will say that I do like to pull from a few groups and maybe I can do a separate video on that, but quickly, it's like proteins so like uh, for us we have protein shakes um, also it is milk so this the shelf stable milk like you saw in my haul or the dry powder milk those are great um, fruits and vegetables again we're thinking if you don't for us if we don't have electricity we the freezer doesn't matter so we are thinking things like freeze-dried, dehydrated, canned. So those are for the fruits and vegetables. Uh, we're thinking grains like rice, pastas. Um, we're thinking like potatoes, rice, pasta, potatoes. So those are really good like that. And then of course, beans, legumes, um, lentils lentils, are, and that's why I got the barbecue sauce I normally use barbecue sauce with my lentils so lentils is something that's really quick really filling um, super nutritious and peanut butters peanut butters nuts um, dried fruit we already kind of talked about that dry dehydrated and all that but but yeah and then for breakfast, if you'd want to think along the lines of granola bars, fig bars, if you want to think along the lines of um, oatmeal, grits, cream of wheat, anything like that that's kind of simple, um, kind of easy. And again, just remember, it's not that you can't include fresh, it's just that fresh will not last as long. Um, but hopefully this video helps you um, oils apple sauces all those things like I said if you're interested I can come back and do more I can come back and um, do these monthly what I stocked what I prepared and I'll consider showing you my pantries not really I feel kind of skeptical about that but this is the end of this video um, if anything I said um, was helpful would you give me a thumbs up um, go ahead and subscribe. Um, I am a wife. I am a mom. I homeschool. It's my 10th year homeschooling. We're working on a small little home homestead here. We are plant-based um, predominantly. And yeah, that's about me and my channel. Oh, so I talk all things faith, home, homeschool, homestead here on this channel. So, all right, until the next video. Blessings. Hello, guys. Hello. We are in, where are we at? Sam's. Sam's Club, Sam. We can buy. I'm with the princess.